All right, what's up, guys? So I'm going to do a quick active duty deployed everyday carry loadout. So specifically, what I'm going to be talking about is just EDC in my pocket. Later on, this is video one of probably maybe three or four. I'm going to like keep moving up on the steps through EDC to my first line gear, second, third, and then mission specific once I get there. So first, second, and third line gear is later to come. This is just EDC. So this is currently deployed, and I'm just going to talk about pretty much everything I can, just what I carry every day on me. So starting off with clothing really quick. So these are OCP pattern. For us, as you can see, my specific branch, but I prefer the propers because this is what's going to be authorized come in the next year. The United which was the other brand is not going to be authorized coming up as of this video could change who knows so this stuff wears pretty well I don't mind it um, it fades very quickly um, as you can see once I pull here's my pants you can kinda of see they're way more faded and beat beat up mainly because I wore them a little bit more but specific belt that I am running is gonna be the blue alpha gear this is an inner belt to their exterior battle belt that they have. And you can see this thing's really frayed up. I've been using it a lot. I really like it. Um, so in the next first line gear video after this, I'm going to be discussing all that, like HSGI tacos, my Beretta, like, you know, all the gun, magazine, radio, all that stuff. So take a look at the next video coming up. So I also use a carabiner, so this is for other things, um, mainly securing my third line gear or my pack to like the back of a Mat V or a Humvee or something like that. So you can put this through the grab handle and then around some, one of the metal parts or the cables inside the vehicle. Now when I'm not using that, I'll use this as to hold like chem sticks or my cover, gloves, kind of whatever I need to attach to it specifically. So let me get my clothing out of the way. And before I forget, I'll also go do a rundown of my boots, actually. So these specifically are the Loas. Now these things are a great, great boot for myself. I've wore these quite a bit. They're very worn down. They're probably on their last leg as of now. These are going on their second deployment, and they're pretty well beat. The insoles inside of them are starting to wear out. But these things have been through so much abuse, I will buy a second pair coming up. These are a technically unauthorized color. This is sand, and we will be moving to the Coyote Brown. But currently in the stages of how we're transitioning through uniforms, these are authorized for right now. But I would highly recommend Loa. That's what I'm going to do for my next boots. They're a little pricey, completely worth it. I like to be comfortable on duty when I'm walking around always on my feet with body armor, weapons gear, all that nonsense. So I like to be comfortable, and these are the boots I go with. Let's get those out of the way and push in to the actual meat and potatoes of what you guys are looking for. So I'm going to start with the right side pocket, what I carry. First up, it is going to be a Benchmade bug out. So this is their 535. Now I know some of you are like, oh, Benchmade, and like, you know, you're kind of freaking out about a whole Benchmade. I get it. I'm not too happy with them either. Um, I'm probably not going to be purchasing any more knives for a good while before they straighten up their act, hopefully. But I already own it, so I'm going to use and abuse the crap out of it because that what, that's what a good tool is. I'm going to use it. The access lock is great. A very lightweight knife. I mean, this this is the lightest knife on the market I think that I'm aware of that has all these specific techniques and the length to it. So deep pocket clip, really like that. Never lost this knife. Once it clips into your pocket, um, it holds there very firm. So I definitely really like this knife. Great knife. Also in the right pocket, I carry my Ridge wallet. So I kind of got away from the main beefy wallet of a big leather object in my pants in the back pocket and I went to front pocket carry. 
this helps out a lot. So all my specific cards and everything, credit cards and other things are here. I have this tape here just to cover up my name because I use the Dremel tool to inscribe my name on a lot of my tools and gear. And for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show you that just like I sanitize my uniform here. But the Ridge Wallet, highly recommended. If you're looking for an alternative, I would definitely look into it. I like it a lot. So in that same pocket, actually moving over to the left pocket, I just carry keys. So nothing fancy, no car keys, because I'm currently deployed outside the United States, so I don't have a car. Uh, also, I use a titanium, one of these pry bars. Really like it, because um, I don't like prying things with my knife to get through. I just like uh, using something like this. So if this breaks, eh, whatever. I've never broken it yet, and I've had it for almost six years. So it'll do like paint cans and all kinds of stuff like that, which is really hard on knives. And knife guys, whenever you see a guy do this to a paint can and try to pry it up, everyone just cringes up and they're like, oh, why would you do that? But some people do that. That's just how, how it is. So moving on to the same pocket, carry a flashlight as well. So this is a Streamlight. Let me see if I can get it to focus. This is a ProTac 1L1AA. The really cool thing about this light is it takes three different battery cells. You can run a AAA, a AA, and a CR123 cell in this. Now it takes one, but whatever you have on hand, you can just throw it in this light and it'll run it, which is really cool because sometimes you can't find good batteries or you can't find AA's or can't find CR123's. What do you have on hand? Go with it. Also, it has an awesome pocket clip. So it has, you know, you can clip down on things and then you can reverse clip up onto like a baseball cap because that's what I currently run as a baseball cap. And this light is awesome. It has three different modes and they're programmable. You have high, low, and then you have strobe. So I take strobe off. I don't have a need for it. So I just have high and low. So awesome flashlight would recommend it go ahead and look it up if if you would like now moving down to my left hand side cargo pocket I carry a small trauma kit you can see how big it is and yes I actually carry this most people think I don't but if you ever if you know who I am and say you see me ask what's in my left pocket or my left cargo pocket you will see this in there so this is just really basic stuff, nothing too major. I have some gloves in here. There's combat gauze, normal gauze in here. And then in the back I have a, as you can see it, entry and exit chest seals. On the other side I have a abdominal wound dressing and then just some band-aids because pretty much band-aids are majority of what everybody uses every day. So it fits in a cargo pocket. It's really not noticeable, honestly. It, it looks kind of big, but if I set it down here compared to the wallet, it's not that much bigger. But to me personally, I like running it and I will continue to do so. Moving on to my next cargo pocket on my right hand side, I always carry a tourniquet. This is a soft tee. So this is an awesome tourniquet. I uh, kind of moved around different tourniquets, but right now I'm on this one, very happy with it. Very slim and pretty lightweight, even though they are aluminum. This is not a cat because the cats use uh, plastic and I like cats a lot. I use them, they're in my gear, but if I can go with it, I prefer this one. I think this is their Gen 2, so this one actually comes apart. Really like this tourniquet. Going to the back left, where normally a wallet or something would, would go, I carry a right in the rain notepad and pen and pencil. So my pen is bright orange, yes, and the reason for that is because whenever you are at night and you drop your pen somewhere, if it's black, you can never find it again. It's just gone. You just write it off. The road has taken so many pens from me. So I moved up to orange, so when I drop it, I'm like, ah, there it is. Makes it a little bit easier to find for sure and I would recommend definitely doing that. Next is a multi-tool. I'm almost to the end here. I know I carry a lot of stuff but I carry the Leatherman Wave. Used to carry other Leathermans 
But specifically, what really I like about it is the scissors, honestly. Scissors, they come in handy a lot, all the time. Now, of course, if you want to see Leatherman, you know, there's many YouTube videos out there about all specific tools on here. But I use this thing almost daily. Um, and I would, if I didn't have it, I would. it would be a bad day for me. It's used a lot. So let me kind of move this stuff, arrange it a little bit better. And then last but not least is my watch. So specifically, this is a Garmin Tactics Bravo. So this is a GPS ABC watch. So what I really like about this for my job is it gives me 10 digit coordinates on my location in MGRS. So military grid reference system. If you're military, um, you understand what that is. But it also do lo uh, lat long um, and multitudes of other GPS um, locations and formats. So I've been using this watch for about a couple months and I really like it. This thing is really tough. It looks like a bigger watch, but it's actually not too bad. Um, Sapphire Crystal, if you want, I did a review or a kind of a preview of this watch. I'll put it in the description below. And I'm gonna, I have been using and abusing this thing active duty. And after my deployment that I'm currently on, I'm gonna do a full review and see how this thing ended up working out. So, that is my EDC, what I carry on me every single day as active duty. That is doing operational missions, that is doing admin work, op orders, all kinds of stuff. This is kind of what I've pushed into and what I've been using for a very long time, almost a decade. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to be moving to other videos on top of this. So this is EDC. Next to come is going to be first line gear, second line gear, third line gear, and mission specific. So I'm going to get in the backpacks, you know, like gas mask stuff, NVGs, trauma kits, all that stuff is going to be coming up. So make sure you hit a, hit subscribe if you're interested in that kind of stuff because we're going to be working on it and it's going to be a great time. So if you guys really like this, give me a like, give me a comment. What do you like to carry? So other than that, have a great day, everybody.